Hello, hello, hello. How is everyone doing today? Well, I hope you're doing good. I uh, hope your holy week is, is starting off with a good Monday and uh, that you are um, finding time, finding time to, to dig into your faith, to dig into your, your life and, and be a part of that. I know that for us, a lot of times we're, we're down, we are uh, we're, we're grieving, we are hurting, but yet somehow we have to know that this is all going to pass and that things are going to get back to normal eventually. And so I hope that, um, hope that you've had time to get outside today. The sun is shining. Uh, I, I just, uh, came by a, a rousing, uh, game of Uno upstairs and, um, that's been going on for quite a while. And, I uh, want you to know that you are not alone. All the things that you're doing, all the things that you're going through, uh, none of them are new to anyone right now, <laughs> that everybody's going through the same things. My prayer is that you are using this time to renew yourself, that you are rebuilding yourself, your spiritual self, that you are taking time uh, to be whatever it is that God needs you to be. I know that um, I was listening to some Mark Sayers today, and, and he likened it to uh, a bear. Uh, in the wintertime, a bear will hibernate. Uh, but for a bear, hibernation is not uh, disappearing. Uh, hibernation is not being alone. Uh, hibernation is not avoiding everything. Uh, for a bear, hibernation is a time for renewal. It is a time for his body to to heal or its body to heal, to restore and rejuvenate. And that way in spring, uh, as the bear breaks his hibernation, he is ready to take on uh, the world around him. That is also us. Um, today, my devotion, uh, even if you did the, the, the devotion that I sent out, um, they, today would have been day two. Um, yesterday would have been day one. And so somewhere in the middle of all of that, there is this process of um, finding out what we're worshiping. What are we? What are we doing? What are we focusing on? What are we spending our time on? We are stuck in isolation for the most part. And what are we spending all that time on? Are, are we? Are we watching another TV show? Are we watching something? Are we doing something? Are we continuing to do the same things over and over and over again? Or are we using this time wisely? Um, I'm going to, I'm going to leave you with Psalm 139. And I think that it is what, uh, what brings, uh, me to, uh, probably, um, the greatest joy that I can think of right now about who God is and about what he's doing, about what he's saying to me, about how he's feeling, um, about me. Um, and so I, I think that, that you and I are, are in a place where, we can use Psalm 139 in our life today. So I'm going to read to you from verses, I'm going to read to you verses 7 to 12. I can never escape from your spirit. I can never get away from your presence. If I go up to heaven, you are there. If I go down to the grave, you are there. If I ride the wings of the morning, if I dwell by the farthest oceans, even there your hand will guide me and your strength will support me. I could ask the darkness to hide me and the light around me to become night, but even in darkness, I cannot hide from you. To you, the night shines as bright as the day. Darkness and light are the same to you. I pray that you are uh, enjoying this time, that this is not a, a, uh, a sentence. Uh, this is a time of... Uh, you to renew your spirit. There's a reason that we started the year off the way we did. It's time for us to renew our spirits. It's time for us to dig in. It's time for us to have hope. And it's time for us to look forward to this holy week in a time where we have time. We have time to dedicate to uh, our, our renewal, our spiritual regrowth, uh, the reboot, if you will, of this system that we're going through. Have a great week. I know that that we are, uh, as a conference, the West Oil Conference, we are uh, allowed uh, to uh, perform virtual communion, which means I would be able to perform the, the online blessing and the ceremony, and you would at home be able to have your own elements of, of wine and juice 
uh, along with your own bread and you would be allowed to take it at the same time. Now, if that is, I've, I've been avoiding it <laughs> for, for purposes because I think that's one of the, one of the few things that the church has left as a sacrament uh, to be there for that. But in this time, I understand. Um, Thursday night is Monday Thursday. And if you, if you are willing and wanting to have virtual communion Thursday night uh, with, uh, it, it, as yourselves, as you're ready, uh, we can prepare ourselves for that. But let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know uh, in the comments if you are ready for that and you are willing uh, to participate in that. And we will try to make uh, the best uh, Monday Thursday service that we can possibly make. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.